Good morning, everyone. Back to my usual morning cooking. I'm not hungry this morning, so I'm just going to make my husband and son some breakfast. Going in with a little spinach, bacon, and some onion. I'm going to add some egg. Hopefully they like it. Um, and then I'm going to make myself some lettuce wraps for lunch. That'll be my lunch today. So, yeah, I really... I know I had a weekly plan, like, as far as what I was going to make this week, but I can't remember because I forgot to write it down on my handy-dandy board over there. So, thinking maybe leftovers because my fridge is pretty full right now. But we'll see. Have a happy Thursday. Hi. So, for dinner today, I'm just going to do a rotisserie chicken that we bought over the weekend. I know. Hmm. Monday? I don't know. But it was in the fridge. I'm gonna put it in the oven to warm up with some broccoli. But guys, look at it. They sold a chicken without legs. Really? No, not really. Some little rat got in my fridge and took both legs. <sighs> boys will be boys. Just gonna warm it up, have some chicken and broccoli. Maybe I'll feel a little fancy and make a cheese sauce. I don't know. Tonight's dinner kind of turned out into a clean out your fridge and eat everything that you have in there kind of dinner. Got some leftover taco meat, some tortilla, some like low carb, those corn and cactus tortillas I showed y'all a while back. I'm gonna make some quesadillas out of that meat, those tortillas and some cheese. I'm working on a cheese sauce, that's what I'm here for. I was like, why did I come to the fridge? Fourth cup of heavy cream and some cheese. I think I'm gonna throw this other heavy cream out because it's been here a while and I don't wanna see it there anymore. For this sauce, I'm gonna go with like a quarter cup, well, maybe half a cup of heavy cream. I'm gonna let that boil up. Maybe more, it doesn't seem like too much. <laughs> I'm gonna let it not boil, I'm gonna let it get warm. And then I'm gonna add some uh, cheddar cheese. Salt and pepper, you can add whatever spices you like, but that's what I'm adding. So this is a tortilla I was talking about. Susolia. If I remember correctly, it was mm, eight, three net carbs for two tortillas for one and a half for a tortilla. I've never fried them, but I'm going to try to. And uh, not fry them, but like toast them a little bit. So that's avocado oil with some cheese and my leftover meat from um, the uh, chilies rellenos the other day. So, yeah, just kind of putting stuff together that I already have made from the fridge. And I'm going to try to make a cheese sauce out of this. And to put on my broccoli that's in the oven, which I got to check on. And this kid right here is already starting to go nuts. So, what up? What's the issue? Talk to me. What? You trying to escape? You cannot escape. No. I just added a handful of cheese. And I'll add more if I need to. But... Yeah, probably need to. Because, I don't know. I, mean, I would go and do all of the cheese, but I don't want it to be too thick. I ordered a tripod, y'all. <laughs> It'll be here hopefully tomorrow. Okay. There's that. We'll see how it comes out. Hey guys um yeah so you saw my chicken breast that i had with broccoli and cheese on top um i did make those keto well low carb tortillas uh 1.5 1.5 net carbs per tortilla and i stuffed it with that um meat that we had the other day it came out really good um, my husband says he can't tell the difference between like a corn and that one i did have one and i can tell a difference but it's good and it really craves the craving so one every now and then i figure it won't hurt but um yeah i may have had two <laughs> who knows <laughs> no i had two and that chicken breast and broccoli and cheese so yeah really good i didn't get to record because it was just rush rush today traffic it's raining here in houston so when it rains here in houston people like forget totally how to drive and uh, it took me like an hour and a half to get home 